Hey. So I know everybody's been waiting with bated breath for me to post another Oreo review. Um, the reason why I haven't is because I lost the cable that connects my phone to my computer. <laughs> uh, and it's still lost, so I don't know how I'm going to actually upload this. Uh, we'll see. Um, also, I just think it's a waste of money to buy Oreos that are gross. Um, because the, I guess the final verdict is always going to be that plain Oreos are great and all of these weird flavors are at least at least mediocre, like somewhat inferior. I feel like I've given a good review to like the Fireworks Oreos, um, which don't really taste much different than the regular ones. They're just regular ones with Pop Rocks in them. Um, and the lemon ones were okay. The lemon ones with chocolate. Uh, the plain white lemon ones are good. Okay, so I guess there are some good, solid, uh, you know, unusual Oreo flavors. Um, most of them are gross, and I'm not going to go buy them just to eat one or two and then throw the rest out. I'm just not about to do that. Um, but my, my mom brought me these uh, Peeps Oreos, which I feel like these aren't new. I feel like these came out, like, last year. Um, for Easter, and they've re-released them for the spring. It's not for Easter, right? Because it's a religious holiday, but you know, for springtime. You know, Zombie Jesus Day. It's a Zombie Jesus Day. My fiance actually had one, and the verdict was that they were weirdly crunchy, right? They were crunchy, and it tasted like they took the sugar out. So then you make it an overall more disappointing experience. But why would they take... See, this is this is what... But they added sugar. But they added sugar. Like, there's more sugar in the ingredients. So there's kind of a mystery, right? Now I'm intrigued because supposedly these are less sweet tasting, but they actually contain more sugar. Also, the peeps on the... This is bothering me. So the peeps on the package are... We're losing focus. There we go. The peeps on the package are pink. But the actual cream is purple and this bothers me intensely i just i want that i want them to match i want like the peeps to be purple or the cream to be pink it just i i can't stand that they're different it just it it's it's a flaw it's a distinct flaw in the design and execution of these disgusting cookies so i'm not a huge fan of peeps to start with um I'm actually kind of a peeps snob because there is there are such a thing as like artisanal peeps or like handmade handmade like you know like not mass produced factory made peeps you can get little marshmallow animals usually chicks at like fancy chocolate shops and candy stores um that are made with like egg whites instead of um gelatin and if you can get those fresh, those are really good, and Peeps are kind of like the sad imitation or like the mass-produced imitation of those. So Peeps are already my second choice when it comes to uh, marshmallow animals, and I'm not excited about this. Um, not, not enthused. Um, I disapprove heartily of this Oreo, and uh, without further ado, I guess I'll just give it a taste. Well, I get, do have to give them credit. I feel like they did replicate um, that Peeps taste in the cream. The thing about that, though, is that Peeps don't taste like much. They taste like gritty uh, sugar. And there we go. See that ugly, ugly lilac color. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it tastes like a peep, but it, like I said, a peep tastes like a cheap marshmallow with grit on it. Took another bite. Mmm, there it is. You're right. There's like... <laughs> 
there's like a grit, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's grit in the icing. It's like someone spilled sand in your cookies. Yeah. Something. Fuck that. Like... That's terrible. I hate it. That's disgusting. Yeah, so these have, like, you can't see, like, flecks in them. You can't see them at all right now. Uh, there's not, there's no evidence of this visually, but they, for some reason, these have, like, grittiness inside the icing or the frosting, the cream, to replicate the exterior of a peep. And that's awful. That is just texturally a nightmare because, yeah, like you said, it it is like someone spilled very fine sand into my already awful cookie. I, I'm just going to dunk this and just see if it improves at all with milk. I mean, it won't. Oh, just as bad. Wow. Um, I don't think I've reviewed the birthday cake Oreos, uh, in a video, but rest assured that those are my least favorite thus far, or my second to least favorite. So the, the grossest ones I've ever had are these, like, berry ones that I believe I did mention in a video, even though I didn't do a video on them, that have, like, a berry, a mixed berry cream. Those are disgusting. They taste like cough medicine. Um, the birthday cake ones sound like they'd be great, but they taste just overwhelming. They taste... They have, like, a funk to them that just, like, I'm not the kind of person who can eat, like, super rich cheeses or, like, blue cheese or, you know what I mean? Like, really, really rich, funky foods. And there's, like, an avant-garde, like, just, like, funk to the birthday cake Oreos that I just can't handle. I'm just not man enough for them. Uh, so those are my second to least favorite ones. Um, these are right up there. These are probably my third least favorite uh, flavored Oreos. They're just abominable. Um, but not, you know, I kind of love the birthday cake ones for how disgusting they taste, just how just they overwhelm your palate. Um, it, it's just, you have to admire that kind of disgustingness. Um, these are not bad enough to admire. They're just bad. Yeah. Peeps Oreos. A resounding disappointment. Um, Except, you know, I'm not sure that I had high expectations to begin with because Peeps themselves, not so great. I mean, iconic, I suppose, um, but not much in the way of taste and they do not translate well to the lovely smooth cream that we expect in the middle of an Oreo. There you have it. Also, just as like a bonus review, I guess, I have these chocolate hazelnut Oreos um, that have what's like basically a knockoff Nutella. I know you think that you would love these. I know you think you want these. You don't. These are these are a genuine disappointment because these sound fabulous and it's just like the cream's not as good as Nutella tastes. It doesn't have like a nice cocoa chocolate quality to it. It just tastes flat. Um, and my brain really wants these to taste like uh, those E.L. Fudge cookies, you know, those Nabisco cookies that are shaped like the Keebler Elves. You know, they're like, they're they're this, right? They're like, they're a chocolate cookie, like a chocolate sandwich cookie. Um, those are amazing. My brain wants these to taste like that. And then I taste them and they taste like not much. And it's just a disappointment in every bite. So these ones, you think you want these. And just trust me, you don't.